an incredible experience. All worth it for a trophy like this. Look at that deer. <laughs> Unbelievable. There's different types of terrain when you hunt the mule deer. You can hunt the mule deer in northern New Mexico in the mountains where you have rugged conditions and trying to pick these mule deer out along the mountainside. Just the physical nature of the hunt is different. And then you have the mule deer of the prairies like you have in eastern Colorado. And I had the opportunity to hunt with Aaron Nielsen, Global Hunting Resources, who has probably some of the best mule deer hunting in the entire country. We've got a group of mule deer that we spotted in this wheat field. They're coming back into the sage ground to bed up. We think there's one really good buck. He looks tall and wide, but I mean, it's a mile away right now. And with the heat waves, now that the sun's coming up, I mean, it's really tough to tell, even with the spotting scope. We're just kind of watching these mule deer, putting them to bed. But we got some younger bucks and some does that are still up knowing about. Once we kind of know where all the deer are, we're probably going to circle around. The wind's coming out of the northwest and see if we can't cut the distance, get four or 500 yards away and see if he's a shooter buck. But the frame right now at a mile away, he looks like a giant. There's a lot of country out here that is just not deer habitat or just there's not deer in. We do not have a great deer density, but we have a great deer quality. So you have to spend a lot of time trying to locate these deer. And because of the fact that the country is pretty wide open, you have to spend a lot of your time glassing and glassing at long distances. What you're trying to do is determine, is it a quality buck? Is it a shooter buck? What are the travel routes that I need to negotiate the landscape to try to get into shooting condition? Again, trying to determine if it's a shootable animal or just be able to see a mile away. We can definitely walk over there and just see if we can see what they're doing. If or, we go to those trees. If or, can we, or can we scoot around, get in the truck? No, not, not without get, actually getting closer to them. But they'll definitely see us in the truck if we, if we gotta come in around that way. Okay. Well, got close. Good luck. Mm -hmm.